player to go ahead and pl watch and play. I've had him over a couple times. Uh, very, very fun to play. Very skilled Cloud. Uh, and Kano Spruce, uh, no slouch either. He's really amazing at both plays. I would feel like both players should have been on the PR, but not. Uh, Anyway, going into that first game, good parry coming up from Kananus Bruce. That's going to go ahead and start off a, uh, a couple, a small combo right there. Right. Going and to get 52% out of that. And yet again, no, K9 is really good when he's on the approach. And at least the blaster can keep Cloud, like, kind of away. He can't just charge limit for free. And, you know, it just puts him in a position where, like, he has to approach. And, you know, K9 is really good at just stuffing out any option that you might want to pick out. Absolutely. He tries to go ahead and slow that. But Luno really is with those out of shield options. I like how when any anytime you ever attack that shield, attack that shield he's just going to go ahead and be ready with an up right. or an up beat. And yet again, going high right there, but not getting punished. You know, Luna just kind of literally trying to just space out as best as he can against K9. As you look at that, he's already brought up a few percent. So near even, just like that. Actually, exactly even. Yep. Right. You know, and this is the thing about Cloud is that, like, when he's in disadvantage, you know, it can be kind of bad, but, like, it's so easy for him to just take command of the neutral and just, like, keep zoning people out, walling them out with the back airs, and just keep on ledge trapping them. And he's with limit right now. This is actually really scary for Cannon right now. Oh, he, he goes ahead and throws at the blade beam. And then a quick spot dodge cancel will avoid the grab, but you know what? Doesn't get too much off of it either. Another good parry. Off for, oh, another parry. Okay, I was hoping he would get more off of that afterwards. All right, here we go. Here's the ledge trapping from K9, and yet again, just drop shield. No, probably wasn't expecting uh, Luna to just pick the immediate get-up option. Oh, I wouldn't have either. Oh, but there he goes, jumping over that get-up attack, and gonna take out that stop with the back air. And yet again, quick combo coming out from Luna, keeping the juggle up, and yet again, he was trying to look for the aerial air dodge in, but like K9 just wasn't giving him an option to go for the platform for the landing instead. Ooh, covered, I love that. He, he covered the tech situation with the blade beam. And I love what Luna tried to do right there. He tried to force the high recovery with the blade beam and then going for a back air to try to stuff out the landing option. But you know what? That up smash will cover that landing option right there. Jeez, yeah, and Kidnan just landed right on top of that. He called out the neutral neutral air dodge. Right. Luna cleaning up the stock pretty well. I feel like he's got K9 on tilt. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's kind of the, the thing that if you want to be K9, you just got to make him play as if he thinks he's losing. Because K9's one of those players where... <laughs> Ah, he just oh. called him out of that offstage game. Yeah. Well oh. played out from Luna there. Right. I mean, yet again, K9 is a player of momentum. Like, if you give him the momentum, then he's going to take it and he's going to run away with it. But conversely, if you can take it away from him, then, like, you can just take all the win out of his sails. Literally, steal the, steal the momentum from him, you steal the game. Yeah. And I would not be surprised to see the character switch, but... I wouldn't be either. I mean, he could go ahead and go Sheik here. He can go ahead and try to go ahead and try to gimp his recovery more. I could see him picking the Sheik here. I could see him picking the Sheik. I could also see him picking the Lucina. Yeah, that I could see too. But right. I, we're going to go see the Sheik. Right. Like it in K9 Bruce colors. Right. I definitely think the Sheik is better than the Lucina in this particular matchup just because Lucina won't have to play the boxing game as much as Cloud. And I feel like Cloud has a bigger sword. So Lucina would probably lose out in the neutral, which is where K9 has been losing most of his interaction so far. <laughs> mm -hmm. But starting off good, he's already got that 33%, keeping him off stage. The question is, is he going to play the No, it looks like already Luna's already now uh, turned the situation around. Okay. Back in neutral. Yep. And here we go, trying to extend his combo. But no, I'm just going to SDI out of that up. He doesn't get hit and gets the punish off of it instead. Ooh, he goes in and throws out an F smash, but nothing to get after that. Okay. Here we go, Nair. Nair in the grab. Oh, yeah. I like it. I feel like he almost like pushed him off the ledge so that he could get that grab. Oh, oh and he parries the last hit of that. I love it. And you know, he was looking for the high recovery, not going to be able to find it. But you know what? As long as your ledge trapping is solid, you know, he can just keep him in this you know, horrible position. Ooh, okay, wow. We're going to need that down tilt. Great. Right. You know, I believe at this percent, you know, K9 is starting to look for that down tilt to up smash or, you know, uh, forward tilt to up air. So with that forward throw, trying to go ahead and get him off stage, see what he does. He air dodges down and, and snaps the ledge. He gets back to the ledge, get that back here, and now it's Luna's turn to go ahead and take stage control. You know, sneaking by that cross slash, but an aggressive cross slash himself to come out of that uh, situation right there. Luna about to go ahead and get limited. He's just about there, but it's too late. K9 and his Bruce literally breaking those limits. Right. Taking that first stock finally at a high percentage. Right? 
and then going really bold with that down smash read, but you know what? He's going to get punished for that, and when he gets opened up, he's going to eat a lot of percent. And now he's on the ledge, and K9's not going to let this opportunity let him go by. No, no, at least not for at least 25%. Parry, reverse the parry back at it again. He gets the start of the tilt combo, gets for the 42%. Back here, K9 is Bruce loose the stock. I was surprised after that. That was a great exchange back and forth. This, this kind of momentum that is going through this is just electrifying. I love it. Right. I love what uh, Luna is doing. He's throwing out the cross slash to try and just stuff out any uh, edge guarding opportunities that K9 might be looking for. Okay, great up tilt with that. He's starting the combo chains. I love seeing it. And yet again, no, K9 is just trying to get him into a position where he has to burn limit like that, because otherwise he's just going to lose it. Try to put him up at the higher percent. He has the percent lead right now, but Luna falls out of the upbeat. All sets him into another one, and he DIs that twice. Right. I mean, that's an amazing SDI to avoid the upbeat. Uh -huh, the it, hit, I mean. Right, especially because, you know what? Usually, like, people get, like, oh, I get hit by the upbeat, but if you can SDI out of it, you're, there's enough end lag on it so that you can get a nice little punish off of it. So Still, this is the hard part for K9. Oh, wow. Luna going at out of shield punish. You can't hit him with the upbeat, you just hit him with up smash. It's going to be really difficult for K9 at the moment, but it's always very doable. Like, Cloud is either going to be super gimped or he'll go ahead and command the neutral. Right. And, oh, he was looking for the roll in, but not going to find it. Luna getting the punish, and you know what? Now he's starting to get all the momentum back. He's trying to make K9 guess, and K9 is not getting the right guesses. Right. Finally gets a grab off the whiff. And you know what? Gets another grab off of the air dodge landing. Going for the fair low, and you know, Luna trying to go for the fair to, you know, uh, fourth out of ten, but you know what? Just gonna do it a little bit too high and a little bit too late at that point. Yeah, and then K9 pulling out that classic K9 as Bruce play, just gonna wait down, wait for the throw out of move, and then go ahead and cleanly take the stock to the back end. K9 as Bruce even up percent right now. All right, but a quick cross slash will get him out of disadvantage. Right. Here we go, off stage. Oh, going for the nair, but it sends him the wrong way, but can still capitalize on this juggle. Yet again, gets a dash hack. He's off stage. And yet again, K9 just trying to read all these roll ins, but you know what? Luna hasn't given to him at once. Oh, but now he's really got to be careful right now. They, you know, Luna's got that, uh, that uh, limit on online. Yeah. You know, I feel like he doesn't really have to worry about cross slash unless he's at oh, the ledge. Oh, there's that cross slash! Yeah, yet again, he didn't have to worry about it since he wasn't facing the ledge, but now that's 97%. You know, Sheik is light, so all he needs is just one good up smash read. And, Ooh, and that's it, the last hit of the Needles Connect so he can get the Bouncing Fish to take that game. One to one, K9 has Bruce and Luna. This, this is definitely a very tight game for both players right here because, you know, K9 is really reliant on those you know, kill confirms, you know, but Luna, all he just needs is one straight hit to kill. Yes, he's literally, uh, Luna is playing the neutral, K9 is Bruce is playing the neutral to combo. Right. So that's, that's the difference. Uh, if he wants to go ahead and make his percentage, he wants to go has to go ahead and hit you at least four or five times to go ahead and make 25 or 30 percent. Versus Luna is probably only got to get about two or three hits. I mean, cross class alone does like 30, uh, or like not like 30, but like 20 something. Yeah, yeah. One, go. Right, still going into game two, running it back to the Pokemon Stadium or PS2, as I like to call it. Yet again, all these fair strings gets Ooh, the air dodge Luna, and wow. does he get the jump? Oh, no, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if he has it anyway. Luna's gone. That first stock obliterated zero to death within the first ten seconds. And yet again, that's the, just the kind of lead that K9 needs to really command this match right now. I mean, well, that's what you're saying about the momentum. K9 has definitely started to take some of that momentum. See if he keeps it continuing. And again, you no, know, he's trying to get out of this panic options, but you know what? They're not working against K9. Okay, yeah, getting that up, up there, not being able to do it, that downer. Uh, Luna's in trouble. Right. Already lapping into percent. No, I like that reverse up B to avoid any potential two frames on his up B. He's almost on limit, too, actually. I mean, yet again, you can say a whole lot about limit, but you know what? It's not going to be able to kill at 63% unless he gets the finishing touch. And True. I don't think K9 will ever let him hit that move. I uh, sure, I, it wouldn't be a K9 as Bruce if he let him. <laughs> But, uh, like I said, it's still a danger. It's still something he has to go ahead and work out. That can, right. oh, wow, he just moved right around. He's like, I don't, I don't care about that. I'm not even going to panic. Right. He just slowly drifted away and then just drifted slightly down just to get the bear avoid on the, the neutral B. It's very interesting to see how different players go ahead and react to this sort of situation. Yeah. Everybody has a different way to keep it cool. Tries for the needles to bounce fish, not going to get it, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, the I mean, trap situation allows him not to be able to get naked back to the stage. Right, I mean, there's that you know, air dodge, and you know, you're in so much end lag afterwards that you know, it, it's hard to make it back to stage if you have a limited recovery like Cloud. Mm -hmm. 
It becomes unlimited once he gets oh, the limit. <laughs> but I mean, he doesn't need a good recovery when he just spike the ledge like that. Stock deleted. Still go ahead, Kanan. I still got two stocks up on Luna's one. That's a, that that'd be able to connect that time. It's actually the first one I've seen connect in a while. And again, here we go. He's at ledge. No manages to sneak back on stage. <gasps> Goes for Blitz the footstool, but, but that's not going to go yeah. ahead. It's Sheik. It's Sheik. He's just going to disappear and just come right back to the stage. I mean, yeah, but I was afraid that he was going to try to go for another, like, super early stock there. If that had actually happened, that would have been absolutely insane. Bro. Gets the back air. Gets the forward hit off the ledge. Roll. And, oh, my God. Try reading an option with the cross slash. Just not going to find it. I honestly thought he was going to bait him out and go ahead and throw a smash attack afterwards. Here we go. Not going to be able to find it. Gets the snap to ledge. But K9 just being patient, you know, sitting back, knowing that, like, okay, I have the lead. So I can just sit back, charge needles, let him approach me, and then let him, you know, make the first mistake. That's it. Trying to, trying to keep that down. Not, too, not step too hard on the gas. K9's got to go ahead and be a little careful. He is at the higher percentages. If he wants to keep this lead, he has to go ahead and choose when he's going to go ahead and poke inside. Meanwhile, Luna has the wall to go ahead and set up, and that wall set up very well goes ahead and takes that stock. Final stock of this game. You know, and that was a zero to death at the beginning of the game, and no, Luna has pretty much brought it back to even stocks and almost even percents. All he needs is just two or three hits. Oh, yeah. Talking about, yeah, about two or three more. K9 is boost going and trying to widen the gap, but it's still getting ever closer. Back throw off the stage. Oh, and wow, there's an air to bounce like fish. That was really great. He just went ahead and punched that. Oh, you know what? I thought he might go for the second hit of up B just to you know, take K9 with him. But And there it is. The Bouncing Fish closes out the game. Right. K9 is Bruce up 2-1. to one. You know, that was such a tight match. You know, K9 definitely brought it back before Luna could get any more momentum. Uh, exactly. No, I think that character swap was the momentum that uh, shift that K9 needed. Sean Spruce going ahead and getting ready to go ahead and go into the fourth game. Another Sheik and Cloud matchup. Luna looks very determined and ready to go ahead and go to this fourth game. I'm sure he wants to go ahead and see a game five after this. I mean, I definitely know Luna can definitely do it. He's shown that he can take the stocks early. He just needs to prevent getting gimped and getting uh, any of the ledge traps set up. So the kill confirms that Sheik really needs to find in order to get the kill. That was a really interesting interac interaction that we saw earlier there. But I like it. He's still going ahead and trying to push his way back into past the 23% mark. Ooh, weeds the air dodge situation. And yet again, gets the footstool just to ensure death right there. And then this Bruce taking an early stock. You know, that's kind of like the duality of like playing Sheik like that, is that you'll get those super early stocks because it's at a low percent, and their combos can like actually force them to be in that position. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, that, that's still a way that makes Sheik really, really good, especially in this matchup. Who oh, gets wow. the air dodge. Uh, bouncing Fish is in the opposite direction, but manages to catch the ledge option right there. It's with the needles, and he's trying to make him expend limit, but he's just not going to spend it. All right. Now you see Luna trying to fish for a back air, but no ops to get the cross slash, drops to get the damage. Uh huh. So that, that works. Oh, back throw. Okay. Here we go, another back air. And now looking for the dare, but not going to be able to find it. You know, K9 going high to avoid that. Well, that was really close. Good move, for, uh, good move by uh, Luna to go ahead and recognize him. Uh, how much life he has at the end of that move. Yo, and I love what K9 did right there. He waited, he dashed, waited for Luna to pick an option, and then immediately dashed back once he saw that he rolled in. And then finally went ahead and cleaned that up with that late nair and the bouncing thing. Luna possibly on last stop for Winterside. K9 is just going ahead and starting to capitalize the clean 30. Uh, building the combo. I, I keep thinking that it's over right there because it's not keeping it going. I mean, that's kind of the key to playing a really good Sheik is that you don't stop at the guaranteed stuff. You go for the frame traps and the, the strings afterwards. You know, not the guaranteed things, but like the things that like put you into a worse position to continue uh, the, the combo. Oh, and he's still not dead. Great DI from K9 as Bruce. Still and again, trying to be able to clean it up, with, clean it up with that back air Luna still in this game. He's gonna go ahead and take a long way to go ahead and bring it back, but that shield looking a little bit smaller. Right. Ooh, really bold option from K9 right there. You know, he's just trying to end this game, no, bring it himself to winner's finals. Mm -hmm. be interesting if he goes ahead and does that. Ooh, okay, the attack shield just barely missed. Right. Oh, gets another parry, but gets a back air off of it. Ooh, tries to that force master, they're trying to read his uh, option with their down air and the back air. 
would have been interested in that last. I wanted to see that last little hit. I, I bet you would have bounced fish. That would have been such a sick version. Oh, yeah. He gets a cross slash right there, sends K9 into disadvantage, gets another back air, and now he's looking for this potential kill with a cross slash. Or Blade Beam. Uh, knowing you only heal the pixel, either one of the two. All right. I mean, I don't think Blade Beam will kill, but like a cross slash can definitely kill. And you see K9 just running away, but you know what? You can't run away from this sword. <laughs> And, and now we actually have it. He brought him back to his final stock, too. Yeah. We're going to see a game five of this? I'm not quite sure, actually. I mean, this has kind of been the name of the game for this past two or three games. So, you know, it's you know, K9 getting a really strong lead, and Luna just slowly bringing it back from the depths. Yep, and so far. So he's actually able to do it. He's trying, he's putting in the work. Right. But K9 gets that grab, throws him off stage. Oh, misses with the needles right there. All right. And Limit is coming back online. You know, K9 has to really worry for this game to slip out from underneath him. Yeah, I know if he backs off way too far to the ledge, he could get hit by a little cross slash, and it would kill, uh, I feel like, if he gets another, like, around 60. All right. But now, yet again, Limit cross slash. You know, a lot of things are on the plate right now. 170%. You know, all he needs is just one hit for K9 to just seal out this game. Oh, Blim with Blade Beam? Okay. Uh, I think K9 will take that. He'll take like 18%. Nah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's at least that's the best he could try right now. I feel like that. That's oh, that's it. In there. That's it. Yeah. That's it. K9 is Bruce taking his way, securing his way into grand finals or winners finals. Winners finals. Winners finals. Excuse winners finals. me. Yep. Because I believe we have Zan versus Master Mario for the other half of winner semis. We should go ahead and see that. Zan isn't somebody I haven't seen at uh, MSM in 